skills. And it's Magnus and Luke are on the trail again. Morning, morning all. Morning. And uh, this is the fifth leg of our journey down to Morton Bay, which is uh, still uh, pretty far away. <laughs> we were looking at the maps the other night and we had a bit of a chuckle to ourselves. Yeah. Uh, there's a long way to go yet. A slight change of plan this time. We were going to start at the Ted Bukela's Weir, where we finished last time, and then follow Kuyar Creek tightly along the creek, uh, all the way to the Seven Mile Gold Diggings, which is up by Nanango, about 20 kilometers downstream. One landowner we couldn't get a hold of, so we can't access that property. We tried our very best, so we're going to have to walk around that property instead. We're walking on the west side now, and then we'll cut down to Kuyar Creek again. So we'll end up in the same spot, but a slightly roundabout tour. Yeah. And it's mainly a scenic walk, I think, this time. Yeah, we picked another another fantastic southeast Queensland winter's day for it. Cloudless blue sky. Fair bit of wind around, so hopefully that's not going to give us too much grief, but it'll keep us cool, if nothing else. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to another, another lovely scenic walk. Yeah, it'll be a good one. My story with Barunga is still only new and short. I took over in May 2017. It's 3,561 acres. I try and run about 400 breeders. I love breeding cattle and um, love my horses. Run the place with my uh, horses and dogs, do all the mustering on my own. Pretty much do everything, the fencing. I'm the mechanic. I started running so I'm camp draft practice days myself. I do trail riding through the property. I get professional trainers in to run camp drafting, cutting, barrel racing, working dog clinics. I've got a few camping spots. They can camp up with their caravan, their tents, their camper vans. And I also have a um, lumber's hut out the back. They used to uh, cut timber off the place here many oh, years ago. Yeah. It's on the top of a hill and there's a, there's a few dams down below. I've got a little uh, pot belly stove in there to keep you oh, warm nice. in winter nice, and uh, nice, nice. yeah, so no, I'm, I'm looking to do that. Unfortunately, Kuya Creek went dry last year just with the drought, um, but right here where we're standing is a permanent water hole um, and I have about three or four permanent water holes on the place um, other than last year. But yeah, it's fantastic. It's very good for my business for breeding my cattle um, because it gives another watering point. Um, yeah, it's fantastic, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is Kuyar Creek at uh, Baranga Station, and it's a beautiful spot. We're just saying here to Luke that it doesn't matter how much you look at maps and aerial photos, until you're in the location, you don't realize how beautiful it is. And this is a real gem. Hey, guess what, Magnus? How bad is it? Hey? How bad is it? Oh, it's perfect. It's on film. Attention on it. Oh, yeah. it, it came up over that way. Yeah. I don't feel like taking my shoes off. We're so close to getting there. I'm just going to walk across, yeah? 
I already have wet feet from a previous incident. See the blooper reel. <laughs> so what uh, are you? You're not losing anything. Oh, no. I just don't like wet feet. I'm a soot. All right. Well, I'm going in. Whoa. <laughs> quite, quite nice, actually. Right, Luke. End of walk. We made it. That was a big climb out of that gully. It was indeed. But we're up on the flat land again, out of the Kuyo Creek. And we walked through the Seven Mile Diggings, which is an old gold field. And we're going to dwell on that next time. It's a historic site, very important for Nanango. It's early history. And then hopefully a two-day walk uh, across country, hopefully with an overnight. Yeah, that'll be good. Looking forward to it. Maybe sneak some fishing in along the creek as yeah. we go, but um, we'll see how that goes. But an overnight walk will uh, be really nice to take that in, actually, along yeah, the creek, I think. Yeah. yeah, it would be. So this was a beautiful walk. It was. It was sensational. Um, as you said while we were walking, like, the satellite maps, they just don't do it justice. No, no, there's so much water in the creek and it was just beautiful. Yeah, we've been really lucky. There's yeah. been rain upstream. Um, it's still flowing. Yeah. Um, and hopefully with uh, with the, the weather forecast for the next few months, I think we're going to be really lucky and I think yeah. we might get water the whole way down. All right, let's go and get some gelato. That sounds good. And then we'll see you here in a month. Sounds great. Mm -hmm.